I've been involved in the transportation energy my whole career. When evaluating career choices, the energy industry really appealed to me because it had so many broad arrays of things you could do in the industry. And I've had the fortune of doing a lot of those different things. I started in an engineering role, worked in refineries, in distribution terminals, and in oil tankers. I moved into commercial roles in logistics, trading, and analytics before moving into strategy and corporate development. One of the interesting projects I worked on was the acquisition of Flint Hills ethanol plants and the engagement in the legislative and regulatory process around fuels. That led me to my current role in quality and fuels compliance. We are a Coke Industries company that produces many forms of transportation energy, including quality, petroleum, and bio-based fuels. We are heavily investing in digital transformation, and we continue to make good strides. As a matter of fact, our journey so far has really helped us weather the COVID storm, but we know our long-term success depends on continual transformation. That is using automation and technology to improve every aspect of our business. We pioneered a new sensor technology with another co-company, Molex. We're employing this technology at our refineries right now. This technology helps us quickly detect and repair leaks. We know that this will create a safer environment, is an environmental benefit, and actually reduce our cost. We believe that with technology, these benefits and others will help us provide transportation energy that meets our customers' and society's needs. If we are doing our job right, we will be a very different company in five years. We believe that we will still be a leader in producing quality transportation fuels, but how we do this work will continue to transform. Hey, five years from now, I hope we can look back and see that our industry came together to improve our product offering with a better value proposition for the consumers. We think that is a 95 Ron fuel coupled with vehicles designed to take advantage of the efficiency benefits of optimizing the fuel properties with known engine technologies. We know that some voices are calling for the end of liquid fuels, but we believe if consumers are given a choice, they will continue to choose our products and the vehicles that use them. We hope that consumers will stand up to those that want to limit their mobility choices. We believe that consumers value the affordable mobility and convenience our products bring to make their lives better. FHR is a proud member of the Fuels Institute, and we've been so for many years. It's hard to find an organization that brings together the value chain, the whole value chain of transportation energy, to do fact-based, impartial research. The board composition alone is very valuable because it brings together refiners, biofuel producers, logistics providers, retailers, equipment manufacturers, and many other members of the transportation energy value chain. The access to the breadth of knowledge and experience this diverse group of people bring together really helps in the design and review of the research and ensures that everyone's point of view are taken into consideration. The exposure to the other board members also builds relationships and trust. We think it is critical for this industry to continue to promote, educate, and illuminate the value our low-cost, reliable mobility solutions provide to society and promote competition among all forms of transportation energies, ultimately will give consumers reliable transportation options. And if we do these things, we believe that means prolonging the life of liquid transportation fuels.